Hello and welcome to the Broadcast Tech Talks podcast, TV industry podcast from the Broadcast Tech team. My name is Jake Bickerton and I'm the editor of Broadcast Tech magazine. BT Sport is seeking entrepreneurs, creatives and startups to pitch products and services to potentially play a significant role in its future broadcasts and productions. This is through an event called BT Innovate 21 and follows similar events in the last sort of three to five years. We'll intro our uh, special guests this uh, podcast episode. Um, yeah, Jamie, hi. Do you want to uh, say who you are and what you do? Nice to see you again. Yeah, good afternoon, Jake. I'm Jamie Hindoff, Chief Operating Officer of BT Sport. Back in the office, uh, by looks for two. Uh, I'm back in the, the home of broadcasting in the BT Sport studios in the Olympic Park, yes. Fantastic. Does it feel good to be back again? It's nice to see people. Uh, and it's nice to see that no one's come and took all our kit while we haven't been in. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, Matt, you don't look as though you're in uh, uh, BT Sports Studio. Uh, no, I'm in um, uh, my house, home of um, Stag, really. That's, that's about it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I work in, um, in BT Sport looking at the mobile strategy uh, and working on the, um, uh, this, this project and some of the others we've got around innovation. If you could explain what... Innovate 21 is, uh, for those that don't know and don't know the previous events you put on as well. Yeah, so Innovate 21 is basically a competition, but it's targeted at SMEs and entrepreneurs. What we are basically saying is, as a broadcaster, we want to work with people who have great ideas. And what we're saying is, as a broadcaster, we're not the only ones who exclusively have those ideas. So we do think, especially in the current time post-COVID, as an industry, now is the time for us to be open and to look and support some of these small enterprises who have got brilliant ideas, who may, may struggle to get them to market or may need some guidance or support to make the product truly valuable. And, and the real strength of what we bring to this, Jake, is not only my team and the wider support of BT and EE, but it's also the fact that we are only a UK broadcaster. So we become a fantastic shop window for some of this innovation, for some of these companies to work with other broadcasters. And it's, it's the third iteration. We've done two previous iterations, which was at the time run by the BT Infinity Labs, which we were a part of. This one is, is managed and run by BT Sport with, with Matt taking the lead on that. And um, it's down to the success of the previous competitions, actually, and seeing, seeing some of those products come to life. So I'm really hoping that we see some really amazing ideas out there that will help us take people to the heart of sport, as is our ambition with the innovations that we've worked on previously. Yeah, was that the one, the last one, which was what, two or three years ago, something like that? Yeah, it was, it was really interesting the way it was set up. And uh, you can explain the format of this competition as well uh, very soon. But Matt, uh, you obviously have taken over the, the reins of this one, to, to, uh, but from what um, Jamie was saying. So yeah, what, what's your plan then with it? We've been talking for a while about how we can strengthen our innovation. Uh, As you know from the past, innovations in our DNA is one of the key things that we we pride ourselves on. Uh, But we are aware we can't see everybody. It's just not enough of us all the time in the the day. So to be able to, to do this and then have all of these really exciting and interesting ideas coming in, then, um, you know, we're, we're sure we're going to get a gem and we, we hold up, you know, our previous one and what's just the watch together that's just been launched as, um, you know, as the benchmark, if we can get another one of those. Mm. I think also what I'm really interested in is what we've done is not just made it the direct uh, consumer application base. It can be anything to do with the broadcasting workflows from mm. camera through to smartphones, wearables, all of that. But it has a direct or indirect effect on our um, on our customers and our fans' experiences. So that really broadens it up to um, to be able to get something really really good coming through. Is that a broader remit than the previous sort of innovation competitions you've held? Uh, yes, we um, we've sort of before had you know quite quite broad, but um, a lot of them have had a you know a focus on a, on a certain area, be that you know, editorial or experiences. Mm. And now we want to be able to look at that because our innovation is end to end. You know, we're looking now at um, having um, an umbrella sort of 
face of innovation called BT Sport Innovates. And again, that's end to end using all of the assets that we have, both through internally in BT Group and with all of our partners that um, you know are part of BT Sport as well. And is there anything in particular that you're really hoping will come up on any part of that workflow at all? I'm really very interested in, in, in two areas, and I guess they're, they're at the, um, each ends of that, um, that workflow. One of them is, is what we can do around you know, the cameras and the production, being able to really push the boundaries of new innovation, like you know, we've done a lot around 5G, um, you know, there's, there's the AI aspect, all of that yeah. and then i'm really keen uh as, 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 as probably most people know on um, on immersive experiences and really being able to push new technologies like um edge computing graphics offloading to take some of those uh i i guess futuristic what would have been seen as science fiction to bring them now you know i do want to see holographics and, we, and we've got that and we've got it in the lab and it's just looking at you know not just what we could launch next week it's what can we do to to bring this on and um, you know that's why we want to be able to work with these companies and use our assets like r d and, and all the bt sport and the creative team to mm. um to bring something amazing to life is the format going to be similar to the previous competitions so jamie i remember seeing you on a panel a bit like a dragon's den style panel where everyone was a set amount of time to pitch to you and a, a team of execs and sports personalities as well is that a similar thing planned for this one yes it is it's um and, and it's a fantastic opportunity because they're also presenting to each other so what you're actually doing is you're creating a community of ideas and you know there will be one outright winner but i wouldn't be surprised if if during this process when we hear these pitches and when other people see other elements think actually that could really go well with that mm-hmm. that it will generate more than that and, and we don't want it to be intimidating but we want it to feel really accessible and really exciting and we've got some great panelists lined up it'll be in the, in our main studio so it will feel really great and for some of these guys giving them the opportunity to come in with their ideas because that's the hardest thing at the moment jake is where do you go with your ideas you, you mm. know how do you present them how do you get get buy-in whereas it does all of that for us in, in bucket loads does everyone that enter, do they get an opportunity to pitch or is it selectors? No, we, we go through the shortlist. The criteria we'll work through. Overall, I want people to think about personalization and that could be any, any part of that workflow. But at the same time, also staying true to what sport broadcasting is, which is about creating a social viewing experience. So, so the biggest challenge is how you make something for everyone that also feels tailored for yourself. There'll be some ideas that we'll, we will go through and we'll feed back to everybody. No, you, we have to have a, a, a methodology to, to take ones that, ones that we believe in, that we know can make a difference to the BT Sport customer. And what does the winner receive? And, and there's obviously the commitment from BT Sport to look at how that product can be incorporated into your either production or broadcast side or any part of the workflow at all. Is there any additional benefits as well for the winner? Well, they get, they get, um, you know, they get support. Uh, around connectivity and infrastructure from BT and EE. They get our R&D teams working with them to develop their products. And I think, you know, Matt's talked about Scenic, which is our Watch Together uh, proposition, which we launched as part of Match Day Experience. It took us two and a half years to bring that to market, to Mm. actually get it positioned. And Matt and myself probably spend more time now talking to overseas broadcasters or promoting what scenic's product can do um so you so see that there's your there's your benefit case there and then it's about us actually helping finesse that product creating the environment to truly get the best out of their idea but also be, almost becoming a sales arm as well to help these guys build their business so you mentioned scenic there there's a very similar sounding company seen it that won a previous innovation competition a few years before that they were both very much the broadcast focusing and Matt you've mentioned before how this time around you want to encourage innovations from any part of the pipeline at all is there a bit of the workflow that you're definitely thinking actually we could jump on this straight away if we got a particular innovation in around this what would be your kind of hints and tips for anyone thinking of entering the Innovate 21 competition and pitching to you guys 
Yeah, I, I personally would change the name of my company to be seen something. Uh, I was about to say, <laughs> you bring, bring my gag before I had a chance to say it. Yeah. <laughs> For me, really good innovation and experiences comes from a very simple concept. So not overcomplicating it. The only other thing, and this is critical, is understand what, what BT Sport already does. Don't come in with an idea that is either counter to what we do or is something we're already doing. And I'm always looking for something that, that complements and builds on what is a very clear roadmap for us around audience engagement and experiences. Why is it important for BT Sport to be demonstrating this innovation and your kind of commitment to other companies that are innovating and really be seeing yourself as a pioneer of broadcast and production innovation? That's because that's who we are, Jake. And, you know, not to be too flippant, so I often ask myself the same question, you, you know, why? Why do we put so much into this? And and there's two answers. Firstly, is looking right back to when BT Sport was born, you know, where we, we built an 86,000 square foot production hub in 18 weeks. We, we launched in less than a year this massive network. And what that did is it instilled a confidence in people to look forward, realizing our mindset, the way we work, the agility we had. The second thing that I think is, is a bit more from a business perspective is you know, BT Sport launched into a really tough market. We've got some really strong, really good competitors for live sport in the UK. And the one thing you need to get your audiences to believe in you is you need to be credible. Sport audiences notoriously like to engage with sport in a different way because of the nature of what live sport is. It's not just here we are and you can turn us on, but you know, first to 4K, first to Dolby Atmos, first to 8K, first to 360. All of these things are about enhancing that viewing experience. We're the only broadcaster with a, a fiber network, broadband network, um, largest 5G mobile operator in the UK, um, a, a very successful media broadcast arm. You're right. I mean, if you look at, at what we did around the iPhone 12 launch, uh, a match day experience it perfectly showcases that so our innovation also showcases the great innovation that is in bt and ee actually and the fantastic research and development team as well that we have in, in lower stuff that we are able to tap into and support as part of being part of bt bt group so if anyone wants to enter bt innovate 21 what what do they have to do just go on to um, btsport.com slash innovate 21 um, all of the T's and C's um, and how you enter are on there. And yeah, please, if you think you've got an idea, you know, get it in. It will be looked at and it will be responded. So even the worst thing that can happen is you've got a sports broadcast to have a look at your idea and give you some feedback. Can't be a bad thing at all. Well, best of luck uh, with the competition. I'm really looking forward to seeing the shortlisted entrants and uh, hopefully coming back to the studio to, to see the pitching process again this year. It was brilliant last time. So congratulations on launching it again this year and I hope it goes really well. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave us a rating on your podcast provider. I'll see you next time for the next episode in the Broadcast Tech Talk series. <laughs>